Hello everyone and welcome to the DevCast, your weekly Roblox podcast for all Roblox related content and personal up close interviews and conversations with some of your favorite Roblox creators. I am your host, dev for hire and this is my co-host, Unix Developer. Welcome to our weekly news roundup where we talk about all the spicy stuff that's been happening this week. Um, originally this episode was supposed to be uh, <laughs> a live stream, but unfortunately we've been having technical issues as usual. So nothing to, <laughs> of course, uh, yeah, it's no surprise there, of course, because, yeah, I, I don't think we can even figure out how to maybe, uh, I don't know, run one of those old, uh, what are the, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, you, I don't know, something. I, I don't even think we can figure out how to, I don't know, fix a car to save our lives, but actually, that actually, that actually is quite hard. Uh, <laughs> um, to anyway. be honest, yeah. I mean, it's the same story with yeah. us trying to live stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, I don't know. A we'll, disaster. We'll, <laughs> yeah, a disaster. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, these weekly roundup yeah. episodes, as you guys One know. Day. Yeah, we, we, we these are supposed to be live. But, of course, unfortunately, we're having so many problems. This has to be a pre-recorded episode. So, you'll likely see us live next week. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. We will, yeah, we'll likely be live next week. Um... All right. Uh, how have you been doing, Unix? How have you been doing this week? It's been. I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Quite relaxed, chilled. How about yourself? Oh uh, yeah, I've been I've been good so far. Um, quite a stressful week actually. You know, um, <laughs> for me in particular, I've just been juggling things around all all the time. You know, commissions, podcast. You know, all these different types of things and. Now it's been it's 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 been quite you know I I have to kind of get into the you know the rhythm of things things have been um yeah quite uh quite ex I wouldn't you know I wouldn't say extraordinary or anything but it's yeah it's been quite a busy week for me uh, I've been doing a lot of work recently and yeah as you said the podcast <laughs> of course you got to keep the podcast going we don't want to end this podcast don't we no, of course not. We don't want to. No, Never. no, I've got we're in no rush to. <laughs> no, we've got no rush to end this podcast. This podcast, I think, is no. going to be continue. Yeah, continuing for, for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So, um, this week uh, has, you know, it's, it hasn't been necessarily too busy. It's been more of a dramatic week. <laughs> um, there's at least a bit more topics this week. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, last time there were about like. <laughs> Four topics. Uh, uh, no, not even four. There's like three. So we we actually got five interesting topics to at least talk about this week. Um, there's actually a lot of Roblox update news, but of course we don't necessarily cover all Roblox update news, or else we'd be reading a huge massive book like this. It'd be, <laughs> you know, because and know, that's no fun for even us. So. Yeah. And when we mean Roblox <laughs> update news, we're talking about like Roblox Studio updates or things, you know, just like small minor tweaks and stuff like that, even to the website. Uh, we could be here forever. Fixes. Yeah, bug fixes or anything. Yeah, we don't we don't necessarily cover that. Um, but we sh maybe we should. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I Who is actually know. looking I for mean, that? I... Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, we guess we don't know. Please yet. tell me down below. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Comment down below <laughs> if you guys, if anyone's actually interested in us talking about minor tweaks that they make to the website <laughs> on Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we got some interesting topics today. Let's actually browse through them, shall we? So, first one is Roblox has uh, released uh, new Chinese-based limited items, which are you know which have recently been revealed. Uh, they are soon to be released for a limited time for one week only. Uh, I think I showed you the the limited hats, Unix. I think you saw them. You, yeah, I saw them. I, I my Yo. first opinion was what distinguished them to be Chinese. <laughs> well, I mean, they look like regular hats, but we'll actually get into that. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get into that. Um, and then there's a there's a oh. there's a company called Taffy, which has recently uh, partnered with Roblox. Um, I think they've been making hats on the Roblox platform for a while now. They're a virtual um, virtual uh, how do I say virtual character ma uh, company, and I think they make things like AR emojis for Samsung, and they partnered with things like uh, Coca Cola and things like that. So they've recently, you know, they they've made quite a, you know, a name for themselves in the in the in the Roblox catalog. They actually uh, actually have quite a decent uh, amount of uh, hats that they've released. And um yeah, recently they've they've released something like a it's an accessory of a boombox that lays on top of your head. 
Um, I find it quite interesting because this is, I think this is the first time they've advertised on Twitter that they've published something in the Roblox catalog. So Taffy just actually caught my eye. So I was like, oh, Taffy. I wasn't, you know, I don't think anyone necessarily, um, you know, knew who, where, yeah, where they, what Taffy was until I just saw that on Twitter. So I was like, okay, well, Taffy, um, interesting, a, you know, virtual uh, character based company where they make virtual characters for 3D worlds and things. Um, and all I right. The hats are actually pretty good. So. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we'll actually get into that. Um, and then there's new, there's been a lot of drama this week. Um, you know, and a lot of, you know, everyone has been talking about it, uh, talking about it, it's, it's been running rampant on Twitter, it's actually wild. Um, but there's actually been some, uh, you know, new drama that has arisen, essentially, um, from a Twitter account that was posting, you know, it was, the Twitter account was named, well, it's from, it's a Twitter account of a game called Cookie Run Kingdom, um, which was essentially promoting a competition to create a replica of their game uh, on Roblox for a cash prize of fifty million dollars, big ones right there, fifty million, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's wild, <laughs> fifty it's a million dollars. You can win it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> the chances. Well, yeah, the chances. I don't know. We'll, we'll actually talk about that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> lastly, we got one last topic, which is quite interesting. Um, and I think I want to, you know, I think, I think it's been, um, quite a surprise to everyone. Um, Wonderworks Studio, they've recently announced this on Twitter. They have purchased a brand new HQ building, uh, along for their 28 brand, uh, well, I don't know if they're brand new, but they're 28, uh, developers that work along with the studio and all that type of stuff. Um, so I think, you know, that was announced on Twitter. Uh, and yeah, we're going to get into all this news, um... Essentially, right now, <laughs> uh, let's actually just dive straight into it. Let, let's actually just get into it. Yeah, that's a um, idea. Yeah, so of course, yeah, there's a lot more news this week, so thank goodness. <laughs> We've got to run the show somehow. There's got to be some sort of topics to discuss. Uh, we wouldn't have weekly news roundups if there just was no uh, news. So, all right. So, let's actually get onto the new Chinese. Um, I, I, I don't know if they're going to be released as limited items, but. They were going to be limit. Uh, they were going to be released for a limited. T yeah, I, I don't know if they are limited, but no, they are. I don't think so. I, I don't know what they are, but I, I don't know if they are going to be limited. But yeah, new Chinese-based limited items uh, are going to be essentially, you know, uh, which they, they have been revealed. They got quite interesting designs. I think one is a balloon. Uh, one is like one is a bunch of balloons. I think. I uh, oh yeah, no, it's a backpack with balloons and it's got like a moon. Um, in fact, we'll actually just show the image like right up here, just right here. We're <laughs> we're gonna visualize what we're seeing this time. Uh, yeah. Here are what the limiteds look like. Um, they got quite an interesting design. One thing I quite saw was quite interesting is they have um a hat that was uh, an a, a hat that was given to you if you had OBC, I think. And they completely retextured it. Remember, it's like that black hat with the um, yellow. Oh, uh, the OBC. Yeah, they re the they, OBC. yeah the the OBC black top hat, and it had like a yellow ring around it, and it's got like these goggle goggles on. They actually retextured yeah. that, and I think it's a limited you can get. I don't know, is it wait, for like ten million wait. Robux or something like that? Is it a hard wild. hat? No, it's not a hard hat. No, no, they wouldn't okay. bring back the hard hats. That's wild. I don't know. Well, classics. <laughs> well, I would love if they brought back I know the hard someone hats. Will criticize that but they're definitely classics in my view yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah I, I i definitely miss the roblox hard hats i think they were great um but otherwise i don't know what classifies them as chinese you know uh, there, there were other hats that no. they did reveal earlier ago i think it was last week i don't know if it was last week or this week but they actually revealed some hats that they you, you can actually get uh on the platform right now for free and it was in celebration of you know, Roblox China and all that type of stuff, as well as I think their new event that they're hosting as well um, to promote a movie. I don't know if it's a part of the same thing, but yeah, these ones are going to be limited there. for only a week only. Dev? Yeah? Didn't China just get to space or something recently? Not that I know of. Because why would they put a rocket on the backpack? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because I know they, they like their space programs to use. 
Well, I mean... It wouldn't surprise me if that's related. Well, of course, China's a superpower of the world. Stars, of course they can have rocket technology. Dark glasses, <laughs> all of them are galaxy. They're all... Re- and you've got balloons. Wow! All related. Yeah, skyrocketing to the moon. Or but anywhere else. I've got else. a feeling that China has got... <laughs> China I think I think you're overcomplicating it. I think you're overcomplicating. I think you're really overshadowing. I, I mean, foreshadowing. Mm. We're not. What's it, what's it got? Is that blue curtain? Yeah. I think you're blue curtaining way too hard. I don't think it's. A, they're not yeah, going to symbolise yeah. that they're going to space China's, with a rocket China's backpack. Mars ro- rover conveniently a day ago vis- just landed, parachuted. <laughs> what? I'm oh. I mean that that could be an interesting correlation. I wouldn't. There we go. That would be an interesting correlation. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> a rocket backpack, though. Yeah, and it's got balloons with like a, the moon and everything. Yeah. Every planet the they're going to colonize. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, I, well, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to take a second look. Or are you looking at them right now? I, I've just sent you. Look at look in your DMs. No, I can't look or else the cameras oh. are going to go weird. <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. What, what is what? Yeah, what is it described as again with the backpack? It, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh. I've not found the item. But oh, shucks. It is a bit interesting how China's space... I don't know if it's actually a rocket. Are this. you sure? You it sure looks you're like not a being... rocket to me. <laughs> it looks like a rocket to me. I think a lot of things look like rockets to you, Unix. Okay. Okay, thanks. So it has... You take another look. Yeah, it's a rocket. It's got two engines at the bottom of it. Sticking out the bottom. <laughs> it's got oh, a window. My gosh. And it's shaped at the top as a rocket. Oh, uh, okay, well... You know, <laughs> we'll leave that up to you guys. You guys can comment whether it's a... I mean, because you, I feel like you're going full conspiracy here, Unix, so... <laughs> no, no, it's not a conspiracy. If yesterday they've got something going on with their program. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I don't know if it's related or not, but it does feel like. It. <laughs> okay, well, we'll find that out right, sometime. We'll leave that up to question. everyone else to decide. Okay, because yeah, I mean, that could either just be a coincidence, or or is there no such thing as a coincidence? Yeah, <laughs> yeah next. <laughs> Uh, oh, please not today. Hey. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, let's actually just go on to the second topic. Uh, so, of course, there's this virtual company named Taffy. And, of course, they make virtually based avatar characters for advertisements or anything to do with the metaverse in general. Or um, they essentially have, like, all these different types of characters. I think they even make AR emojis from what I've seen for Samsung. I, I, I'm just from what I've seen on Twitter. And, of course, they have several different types mobile. of hats. Sorry? And your own mobile. Yeah, yeah. Um, but get... <laughs> it makes me wonder if they made that Samsung girl. There was, like, a recent, you know, that, that, that the Samsung character. Uh, what's it called? Oh, have you God. have you seen have you seen her? Have you never seen the Samsung girl? Like they Didn't Samsung have, had a new yeah. mascot where she had like big blue eyes and then she had, she had like the phone and she was like t- I don't know it was quite interesting. <laughs> Are you actually gonna search it? You yeah. utter, you monster! Look at you! Look at look at um, Unix go! I'm searching the Samsung girl. Mascot. Yeah. Oh my God. A lot of people um, were saying that she is quote unquote attractive. Would you agree? Um, depends what market. You're into. <laughs> what do you mean? But to be, I mean, she's not unattractive, but she's a fake virtual reality character. I mean, <laughs> I could tell you right now, the first day that fo- that char- that Samsung character was released, um. <laughs> The, let's yeah, just say there was a lot of say. yeah. That's let's. Say. <laughs> Wait, are you seeing it right now? No. Okay. Well, but I know what you're gonna yeah, say. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You're gonna. <laughs> he's sensing what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could, you could. Yeah, you could. That energy, I, I, that aura, yeah, that's it, floating around me. I'm ready like to say it. It's the same as the PlayStation Five. What? It's probably gonna be the same. Oh yeah, yeah, when they when the console came out, they drew yeah yeah. Let, let's not yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, let... <laughs> let your imaginations take hold. Yeah, we'll let you guys' imaginations take hold. We're not going to show it on the screen, unfortunately. No. 
no, <laughs> no, they're all gone. Yeah, they're all yeah. Disappeared. Um, all right. Well, um, I yeah. I mean, they. I I didn't actually know there was actually uh this company was actually selling items on the catalog until now. I've looked at their catalog hats. They're quite interesting. They they're quite unique. Um. Far unique from what I've seen. I mean, I feel like the the catalog right now is quite oversaturated with uh, anime or emo or goth based uh, clothing. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, but I mean that's trends. Am I right? I mean, of course. Yeah. It's unique. It's... Yeah, it Very is unique. unique. Yeah. I mean, what more can we say, really? Uh, yeah, taffy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's yeah. actually. Um, Let's actually, like, yeah, let's actually move on to likely the largest topic uh, I think we're going to have. Um, oh, 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 wait. Okay, all right. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get myself confused yet. Uh, so, apparently, there has been new drama that has been going on within the Roblox community. Um, and it is regarding uh, the game uh, named Cookie Run Kingdom, which is on Twitter. They have recently been promoting a competition to create a replica of their game on Roblox for a cash prize of 50 million... Oh, no, not 50 million. I wish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. 50,000. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. We let you down. <laughs> um, yeah, $50,000, and $50, which is actually quite a bit of money, especially in my currency. I really wish I, wish I could Unfortunately, that money. Unfortunately, the other side of the world, it isn't. Yeah. Well, I mean... So they actually did have some terms. They said that if you want to take place in this competition, you have to be positioned within the U.S. So, unfortunately, we are both yeah. not in the U.S. So, unfortunately, yeah. But uh, what I don't get, what I don't get, is that let's say a yeah. South African, British person, whoever, wherever you are, makes it. Yeah. And it's a really good game. But I don't see how they're going to object taking it <laughs> and giving them the prize money. Wait, what? Wait, is that what? Because you said it's only a restrictive. Yeah, you have to be. You have to live within the U.S. I think. That's limiting down their developers. It is. But it anyway, is. It is quite limiting, aside. actually. Yeah, if you can't take um, a. I mean, I I wouldn't even see any problem to why like if you're not in the U.S. I wouldn't even see it as a problem. Like, people do work. Unless it's the contracts. Oh uh, yeah. Well, maybe like maybe they have to abide by U.S. laws or something. I don't know regarding. I don't Which know. It's probably something we don't know. Country. Yeah, yeah. Probably is a pain with the lawyer. I don't, I don't know. Probably That's yeah. International assumption. lawyers um, are really hard to get as well. <laughs> but that. everything aside, let's actually get into what most people okay. are having a problem with. Okay, so, what do you, do you want to break down the situation, Unix? Well, we're we're divided on this subject. Uh oh, uh Unix, your face is Those unfortunately, your face is unfortunately froze. Uh, yeah, you're breaking up too. Oh, uh, uh, this is a technical difficulty, unfortunately. Uh, the quality of the video, I'm not sure if it's going to be so good. Uh, hold on. Uh, no. Oh gosh. Uh, I think I can fix it. Okay, let's um... hold on. All right, uh, yeah, we are back. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, we've, you know, having technical issues, uh, as we've actually mentioned before at the start of this episode. Uh, no surprise that we are actually having technical issues. Uh, we always have technical issues, and that is something we definitely need to fix. Um, and it might take a while, so. Uh, <laughs> I just wish we could have a normal episode for once. Please. No. I just wish. Well. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. But we'll see it through. Fingers Shall we crossed. continue? Yes, yeah, we should we should just continue. Um anyways, yeah. Uh of course we were we were on the point of uh, you know, new drama which has arisen essentially from, you know, uh Cookie I think I think that's the name of it. Cookie Cookie um I think we just call it that. Um, Cookie Run Kingdom was promoting a competition to essentially create a replica of their game on Roblox for a, a, a you know a cash prize of $50,000 and of course 
Uh, we actually talked about this earlier, and uh, I think we somewhat came to an agreement, but of course, I know you have current thoughts on that at the moment, so uh, what yes, would you like to essentially express, Unix? Well, it's an interesting subject, because um, you've yeah, got yeah. there's a lot of backlash to it, and the backlash has gone quite far with Roblox changing the terms and conditions after it due to people not getting credited and all of that. Yeah. But it depends what context you put it in. In a business like context, it's actually normal that it seems like people in the robots community don't like that because it's like everyone loves their pride. And I know people are going to kill me for saying that, but it's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's true. People are prideful of their own work. And if and it seems like the person that gets £50,000 richer, I don't really see how they could be moaning if they don't get any pride from it. Because at the end of the day, it's 50 grand or the rest of everyone else fails. I mean, the subject is quite sad in, in the backlash, but in my own opinion, I think that Roblox have been quite forthcoming with telling you black and white the deal, yeah, what yeah. you're in for. <clears throat> and if people can't accept it, then don't join the club. Don't do it. I mean, I don't see what the moaning about is. Well, of but course, many I'm people sure. are upset, of course, as you know. Yeah, they just, they believe, you, you know, in terms, in terms of my thing. side, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. I am more along the side of, is that people, you know, people spend long, hard hours on work, essentially. And, of course, when this, when this post released, essentially, there was no, there was no, um, there was no, uh, how do I say this, sign of... Uh, you know, creators who have essentially made this game receiving anything back in general um, besides the 50,000, you know, cash prize. And of course, um, you know, a lot of people believe, you know, that they should be credited for their work, that they, you know, that they have done or at least, you know, gain some sort of share or at least, you know, receive anything else. Um, some people even said that <laughs> 50,000 is not enough. They need some shares of the actual success of the game. Or they need a whole copy that they can use themselves. Like some people, I think I think that was a bit too far. But um, mm. I do believe essentially that I think credit should exist. And of course, when they first posted this, they allowed, they said essentially, well, we take your game and we give you cash, and then that's the last of it. And of course, that isn't enough for people. And I could also say that's not uh, that that wouldn't be I enough for me I don't if I it. participated I don't in this com competition and I spent four months of my own life working on this game. And then finally completing it. Um, uh, spoiler, I'm not going to win. Because one person is winning. Uh, a lot of people said that, you know, they should rather have a first, second, and third place. If I'm going to spend four, you know, four months of my life, and let's just say I do supposedly win, I'm not even going to get credit because of what they've stated. I mean, that's, that's terrible. Because all my hard work and dedication isn't represented in any way. I'm just a misty, shadowy figure that just disappears... And they take all the credit for the yeah, game that I just made. There's another side, though. There's another side, though. Okay, let's okay what's, what's the other side to that? What's look the other side? The, okay, it's an interesting terminology. But look at all the car and boat manufacturers. Let's go industrial company that make things. I mean, yes, this is a virtual game, and that's an actual thing in real life. Yeah. But let's say you're in a car factory, and you make a car, you're building the car in the factory, and then it goes off. Well, it's gone. You've got the money for making it, but it's gone. It, you know, it's gone. So making a boat, you're making a boat part. It goes on the, the boat that could cost a million pounds or whatever, yacht, whatever it is. It's gone. The part's gone. It's not yours. So I don't really understand the backlash. I mean, the credit... But what, what's wrong with people wanting not. to be credited? What's wrong with that? I mean, the credit is a bit of an interesting one because I don't see how they can stop you from taking the credit. Really. They, they, they can't. They can't. But, you know, of course, there was so much backlash... Because of how terrible this whole thing was, of but isn't it not even at least reaction? because it's, it's it's the first time it's uh, ever happened. It's the I first don't know. time it's ever happened. I don't know. It's the first time it's ever happened. Tell me when this has ever happened before. Well, you know what? It actually is quite an interesting topic because um, it's just quite strange. Because you know, there could be an argument made. You know, for example, like um. 
I wouldn't say Roblox events are a good example. Are they a good example? Because, you know, people work at for certain prices. But I've never... I don't think I've... I mean, they're, they're community driven. They're yeah, those are Roblox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're For not... example, like the egg, the egg hunt and all that stuff. It was an actual body of people who actually made it, of course. So the credit was kind of there, but I don't, I don't think Roblox openly. Um, really I don't think they openly do list the credits of essentially things when people no. work for them. No, but. No oh, shucks, you're freezing but up they again. Didn't need to. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Ah, we Maybe can't we have an episode like this. Everything's just freezing. For one reason. Oh no. So, I think we're breaking up. Yep, yep. Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah. We've uh, unfortunately, everyone. We've been having too many technical complications. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to end this episode early. And unfortunately, we can't actually get to all the topics. Um. And 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 I think that's really a bummer. Um, <laughs> this was really a great episode, and it started off fantastically, but unfortunately, it has to be cut short uh, because of how bad my Wi-Fi actually is. Um, I would say that's mostly the culprit, but yeah, there's also other things involved. But it's unfortunately, yeah, my my Wi-Fi is terrible, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna see you guys all next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we're really, really sorry. We didn't expect this to even happen. And we, we, we unfortunately can't move on right now uh, in this current state. Um, we're going to have to figure out um, how to fix everything because it's genuinely terrible what's happened. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys um, all next week. Um, hopefully we can actually get a normal episode or not having you know any bugs like how we did with Alvin Blocks. Um, we'll see you guys um, all ne next week. And uh, thank you guys for enjoying this episode. Yeah, but thank you very much for yeah, thank you. with us. And, um, and, uh, looking forward to seeing you soon. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys. Cheers.